Welcome to how to check for collisions in your mesh. Now, whenever you import a new mesh into your game engine, it may come with some collisions. To check to see if it has a collision on it, go open it up and go to the collision option up the top. In here, you can view which collisions you want to see. You have simple and complex. Simple is shown by a dark green outline and complex is shown by a light blue. These are two very different collision meshes. The simple one uses a very basic shape to get a collision geometry, whereas complex collision relies on the vertices of the actual mesh itself to generate a collision mesh. The complex one is a lot more expensive than say the simple one, so you want to avoid using complex where possible. However, there may be occasions where you may want to uh, use it instead, but those are case by case basis. Most of the time you refer to a simple one all the time. So this basic shape that comes with it is fine. However, we want to make it, say, customize it. So to customize your collision shape, we first will have to remove the current shape. So at the top, we've got collision menu. Open this up and you'll find remove collision. Click on that. And in here, we can now add our various collision shapes to it. I'm just going to hide the show complex away. And I'm going to go into mesh, uh, sorry, collision. Go and add box. And you can see it has a box collision around our mesh. Now, the default setting for this is that you can spawn it to be the same size as the mesh. So it go to the extent of the uh, size of the mesh. However, in our case, we just want the trunk to be collidable. So the player can still walk through the leaves. So, once you spawn in a box, click on the box. And you'll see a familiar looking gizmo. We can scale that gizmo to fit around our shape. There you go. And that will do it. We've got our box now around our trunk. Now it's worth noting you can actually add multiple of these simple shapes um, to your actual mesh here. Just go up to collision again and choose another shape. And you can rescale them, move them, do away from with them. I don't need that one so I'm just going to delete it. And the last thing I want to show you is in the collision settings. So let's say for example you want to use the complex collision as the main collision source. Well to do that Go to collision settings, scroll down, and you'll find it. And in here you'll find collision complexity. Now the default, which is the project default, is going to use the simple collision, not complex. However, you can change this. You can make it use both, use simple, or use complex. So if you want to use complex collision, you can use the complex collision here, and that will change it to use that one instead. But most of the time, you want to use it as project default. And that is it, we are done. Hit save, and that is how you check collisions on a mesh. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch more how to's and more videos, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Ailey. We can watch all of my content well ahead of anyone else. So thank you to all my patrons for their continued support. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.